Welcome to Configuring Advanced Windows Server 2012 Services, which is based around the curriculum for the Microsoft Exam 70-412. And really this training is building on the previous DVDs and online training, which focused on 70-410 and 70-411. And this is focused around the more advanced configuration and the more advanced services we see in a Windows-based infrastructure. The key areas for this course are really to build on those knowledge areas you gained in the previous trainings and take them to a higher level, more advanced capabilities. For example, advanced network management with dynamic host configuration protocol, domain name services, IP address management, to really give you a full scale enterprise level capability set for managing your network. Looking at advanced Active Directory service and capabilities around architecture, trust relationships, SID filtering, but also things like federation services, the ability to connect different organizations together for web-based applications and really using a single sign-on type capability. Certificate services for public key infrastructure is critical to many elements of Windows Server and its applications. So we're going to cover that in a lot of detail rights management services to help protect our intellectual property. Dynamic access control and advanced file services to move beyond the basic NTFS permissions on a folder and basic encrypted file system to really advance capabilities and very, very granular control while minimizing the amount of administrative overhead. And of course, with all the capabilities in the world, they're only useful if they're available. And so looking at how to provide high availability, including different virtualization options, and indeed disaster recovery is a key element of this course. So they're the main areas that are gonna be covered. If you are looking at certification, this course is focused around the curriculum for that 70-412. It is important to stress, however, if you are interested in the exams, you should go and download the curriculum, look at all the different aspects and technologies that are gonna be tested, I do focus on covering all of those, but I'm really trying to help you understand the technologies, be able to use them in a job rather than just pass an exam. Now, I'm a key believer that if you understand these technologies, if you've used them, if you've tried them out in your lab environments, you'll be able to pass the exam. And I think that's a key part to all of the Microsoft exams. Understand the technologies. Don't just watch this and expect to pass. You won't. It's critical that for every single thing we cover, you go and try it in your own lab environment. You try configuring it from a graphical interface, from a command line, from PowerShell. You're gonna hit problems, and by solving those problems is how you'll actually learn that technology very, very well. So that's the high level overview of what we're going to cover. 